I'm Lee Spencer, and I'm at GMS Racing in Statesville, North Carolina, where I've caught up with the organization's president, Mike Beam. You guys had a big announcement this morning at the Hall of Fame. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, Lee. So we basically, in partnership with uh, Junior Motorsports and and with Chevrolet, and we're trying to start this program with Josh Wise and Lauren Rainier, uh, where we're trying to bring these young talent in and showcase their talent, but build their talent as far as uh the interviews and just basically it's a school academy or whatever you want to call it you know the race and parts one thing but you know where uh you can take the young guys into your corporate office and, and sell sponsorship and mainly you know so many of these people we see come into sport and they just fail because they don't have the right education and you know just winning it's not enough sometimes, and so we're excited to partner with uh, Dale Jr. and his group at Junior Motorsports to start this. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, we we got the Sam Mayers and the Sheldon Creed and the John Hunters, and you know, on our side, you know, and and so we're excited about it. We you know they started working with Josh Wise, and he's such a you know, a machine there as far as the workout and the mentally and physical side. So uh, I think it's going to be great for everyone. And we kind of wanted to start small this year with six drivers. And, you know, we're trying to do more quality than quantity. And there's a lot of racing. So it's going to be exciting to see, you know, the Adam Lemke out of California, you know, and Zane, you know, and definitely Noah, you know, so Grax. And so we're excited about it. You know, we just like me and Dale talked about. You know, it's great for us to give back and Chevrolet coming on board. That was just icing on the cake. It almost seems like you know Toyota was ahead of the curve with their midget program. What Keith Coons has been able to do, and and Kyle Busch with his late model program, which um, I guess he's not doing that anymore. But you know, at least they kind of put the seeds there for Toyota. Uh, Ford Performance last year started their Team 60 program at your former employer, you know, with your former employer Roush and Penske and uh, the Stuart Haas, Haas, Haas Racing Bunch. Um, did you guys feel like you were a little bit behind the curve in developing young talent to get up to the cup level? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. We talked about it a lot, you know, and Pat Suey and Dane Perantoni and, you know, Jim Campbell from Chevrolet, you know, uh, we just hadn't really, it just, they've tried this 10 years ago through, you know, the truck series as far as, you know, having a, uh, deal where they went to a racetrack, but, you know, but this, this, the way it is right now, it's like, this is all laid out. It's all, we, we've got a plan from the standpoint of you going to school to your workout to you're going to be here at a certain time you're going to be and we're going to teach you to your debriefs and everything so it's laid out here we've you know it's like josh wise he would tell you you know he he was a he was a good race car driver you go back and look at josh's records i mean you know he's a great race car driver but once he got to a certain level you know basically he got lazy and you know he didn't work at it and once he failed so now he knows and you know it's like he knows where he failed and he's making sure that the people that he's coaching and teaching, you know, they don't make the same mistakes. And you take Lauren Rainier, you know, with uh, years of experience of, you know, from, you know, bringing Tony Stewart, you know, and Kyle Larson, you know, and Stenhouse, as far as seeing the talent, you know, and he'll tell you. But, you know, we have some really good young guys coming, you know, that we're really excited about in uh, – once we made the announcement, I'm sure that, you know, I, I'm excited for 2019, but 2020 even also. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's our future. And Dale and him, you know, and Junior Motorsports and Joe Mattis and Pam Ryan, they, they're, they're, you know, they're dedicated to it just like we are or committed to it. And so it's, uh, Maury Gallagher and Spencer, they're, they're excited about it. So, it's all laid out there. And like I said, we had the funding to do it, you know, and uh, it's all about now just executing. You talk about funding in a an era where we're seeing a lot more buy rides come in. Are you also trying to offer more bang for the buck in the instances where you will take on a driver that, you know, can perhaps contribute to the freight? 
You know, the the first thing we we've we've talked about this a lot. The first thing we're trying to do is is just it's all about ability, right? And you know, it's like today at the news conference there, it, you know, at the Hall of Fame. You know, you take you know, Sam Mayer and Adam Lemke. You know, their their dads were there, and you know, and uh, it's uh, quite impressive, right? That your 15 year old son standing on the stage with Dale Jr. and they're making this announcement. You know, and so it's like. Uh, you know, we're not we're not going to go out and just give out fire suits and decals and say you're a blah blah d- development driver. This is all about quality. You know, if it's six or four, it's you know that's what it is. You know, and, and that's what we're going to work with. It might be eight, but I don't think so. We want to start this very small and bring really you know six guys in here that's on the gas, but they want to learn and they're going to be dedicated because. You know, we're going to hold them accountable. We're going to give you all the tools, and it's up to you. It's all about how much effort you want to put into it. If you get lazy, you know, then that's your fault. But we're going to make sure that, you know, Josh, he, he gives you the diet. He gives you the workout, you know, and it's like uh, we're excited about Brett Moffitt, you know, because he's, you know, he's race can in cars and stuff. So, you know, Brett, he's uh, 26 years old, and, you know, now he's a champion. So, uh, he's the future. You know, Brett's been around now, so he's, I don't want to say he's failed at things, but, you know, he's had some heartbreak in his career being in, in a certain situations, and now he's uh, he knows that, you know, you have to make the best out of every opportunity you have. So, you know, we, it's kind of like a bunch of uh, old souls getting together and say, hey, we've experienced this, but, you know, it's uh, so, but the, those young guys, they're like sponges. I mean, you know, with, you know, you having Justin Algar around and, you know, it's like Dale Jr. said, you know, with Justin around and, you know, Elliot Sadler, he was a really good coach, you know, to help those guys and, you know, to help William and stuff like that, you know. And so uh, Brett, he understands his contribution to this whole program and, you know, he's more than welcome to do that. It's kind of like Justin Algar is. So I'm excited about it, you know, uh, like I said, we have. I think we've got it laid out. You know, it's like a like I said, it's a, it's like them going to school. But I mean, you know, they, uh, but they still get to drive race cars. So it's, it's you know, so it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch them. I believe you guys had an ARCA program before with with Grand Enfinger, and um, but the K and N, it's a new deal with NASCAR bringing K and N and ARCA, and you know, kind of you know, working with both those series. Um, you have a stepladder with JRM running the late model that depending on what discipline these kids are looking at, there's really something for everybody to move into, is there not? Yes, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, there's, you know, we, we even have a dirt car here. We race some, you know, that's why I was just talking to Spencer about if we got to get, you know, he'll probably race that like 10, 15 times this season. And, uh, yeah, but still the other stuff, you know, with Dale, you know, Dale and him's, you know, with Josh Berry, his programs, which, you know, is awesome. Then, you know, Arcadian stuff, you know, we had it here before, but, you know, once the, once the trucks went to the Elmore stuff, you know, so I basically cut back on our truck teams and then we had those engines that, you know, I can, you know, supply to the Arca stuff. And, you know, we were at a point in our Arca stuff, we really, you know, Maury, he's, he, and Ron Booth, even our C- CFO, you know, they love the ARCA C- just like we do. But we was at a point where we need to really make a commitment to do it. Or, you know, we decided we weren't going to do it after 15. We won a championship with Grand, of course. But, you know, now it's the, the ARCA series is a great series, right? You know, and, and the k and stuff, you know, once they uh, kind of um, – join forces there i'm excited to see you know you got tony glover and people like that involved and chris uh rice so that you know you know uh, i'm excited about the future of that whole you know especially 2020 but you know it's you know the general tire and all that stuff so it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun i think uh it's a smart thing to do and and finally you know as part of one of the you know early hickory mafia um you you saw dale jr come up the ranks from that kid in a late model to the kid you sat on stage with today what's the biggest change you've seen out of him 
Man, you know, I, I told you, I, you know, just, I remember he was just a little boy, and, you know, I raced with his dad, you know, Dale Sr., you know, and uh, just to watch Dale Jr. progress as a, you know, as a, a driver and as a, you know, and, you know, and a dad, too. Yeah, I think it's awesome, you know, and uh, he's such a, but if you listen to his, you know, what he was talking about that, you know, I, it's like, I don't know whether Hawk did it or his dad did it, you know, and made him go to school to, you know, to, as far as to learn the course, as far as I don't know whether it's the Dale Carnegie course or what it was, and it made all the difference. At that time, you know, and it's funny, Dale said, I didn't know if it's going to help me, but later it did, you know, it made me realize, you know, that, hey, you know, uh, it's a big part of it, you know, because, uh, you know, back then when his dad started, it's like, well, you know, Dale wasn't that great at Dale Sr., but he could win. Well, you know, now you have to take these people into the corporate offices. You have to take them in there, and you have to, you know, polish them, and, you, you know, make these people want to spend money with you, right, and, and then be your spokesman. So it's, uh, you know, that's kind of where we're trying to get an early start on this and teach these kids. And like I said, Joe Maston, they got a great program, and so we're excited about it. It's going to be interesting to see you all team up and and what the future looks like. But you know, certainly the uh, drivers will be better for it. I think so. You know, I mean, we like I said, the beauty of this between Junior Motorsports and us, and uh, you know, and, and Chevrolet, and even the clients and stuff. I call them clients, but the kids driving these things. It just you know, everybody's got something invested in this. So you know, it's like you know, it's all about each holding each other accountable here. You know, because we all have some investment here, you know, and it's, uh, and but we know that we have what it takes to do it. It's just, we just got to do it. It's the effort. It's put it in, the effort. And uh, I feel like we got the lineup this first year to make it happen. Well, we're really looking forward to it. And uh, thank you for your time today, Mike. Thank you.